good morning interwebs it's 11 39 and i'm up and dressed and sitting here in the recliner having a cup of coffee after my breakfast fudge and um looking at a little bit of youtube and then i am about to uh finish compressing the podcast and i have sneezing cats behind me yes i do and I have the uh, blower on on the fireplace, so it's just, it's a little noisy in here. I was also listening to Hello Internet on the phone. Anyways, I uh, noticed this morning, I got on Instagram to check, like I usually do in the morning time, and I have never had sponsored posts on my Instagram. Like, I've heard people complain about it, and I have never had them. Oh my goodness, I am not a fan First of all, I was watching people's stories, and all of a sudden, in the middle of them, I got this really annoying, really loud story. Because most of the people whose stories I follow either don't actually talk in them, like their drawings and things, or they speak at a regular human volume, not at a, hello, we're trying to sell you crap volume. But that is not the case of the sponsored advertisements. And then I'm scrolling through, and I should look to tell you, though they probably use some kind of wizardry to change how many are there now, so it probably is not the same. So when I was scrolling through, in like the five to six hours I was sleeping, there were four sponsored ads in my feed. And my feed is not very big. It's not like I'm following thousands of people. I'm following like less than 150, I think. So it's not like I get a lot of posts in my Instagram feed. But like every few, there was a loud talking person. And not only did the videos automatically start, which, I mean, happens when you're scrolling through Instagram that, you know, you see people moving. But when it's the people who I want to see content from, they're moving, but they're muted. And I have to, like, stop what I'm doing and make sure to click the button and turn on the sound and blah, blah, blah. No, no. These are already yapping at me out of my phone without my consent. <sighs> At least if they're going to make the ads immediately talk, then I wish that my normal feed would talk like on its own too. Because then I could adjust the volume or just like not have to go to extra effort to see the things I want to see out of order as they may be. Ugh. I recognize it's free and they have to pay for it somehow. But I feel like there's got to be a better way than running sponsored posts in the, uh, in the feed. Like, do you put like a banner ad or something? on the bottom or on the corner, which I mean is what a lot of websites and apps and things end up doing. It's just a small banner ad. I find it way less obtrusive. I also recognize that you're way less likely to accidentally click on it, but I don't know. I found it very, very frustrating. I also noticed when I just went to check and see how many were there, now that I have seen the sponsored posts, when I just flicked through my feed, they're gone. So I guess I just have to uh, endure them once and then they disappear. I don't know. That's weird. Anyways, I am going to go and work on getting the podcast up since we are not going to the library today. I have to do it all from home, which means it'll take a little bit longer. And then I will find something else to occupy my time. So I just finished making something. I made this rice bag for myself. My shoulders and neck have been feeling very, very fatigued the last couple of days. And I thought that maybe having a rice bag, both for like warmth, because I did warm it up a little in the microwave. It needs to warm up longer to really be effective. But um, I need to leave here in just a few minutes to take everybody to dance class. So it's not going to leave it on very long. But I, um made it mostly I also thought the weight would help like stretch out some of the the tendons and muscles in my neck and back so it actually um this is an old like receiving blanket I'd made out of just flannel that I had from when I worked at a fabric store so I had that and then I uh kind of made up the shape and sewed it all up and then there are nine pounds of rice in this thing because of its size and yes I could so like more pockets that it was like distributed better i guess like you would in, like a weighted blanket or something but i kind of wanted that much weight like i'm finding that much weight super pleasant so we will see i also put just a little bit of cinnamon oil on it and a little bit of lavender oil because i do enjoy the smell of cinnamon from time to time and um it's good for like comforting and things like that and then um lavender is good for relaxing muscles and things. So, have that going. 
Now I need to go rally troops and grab a project or two for myself so that we can hit the road and go wait for dance to be over. It is about 10.30. We went to dance class tonight and the kids watched Shark Tales while I uh, took a nap and listened to a podcast. And then we came home and hung out some and then they made dinner and then they were coloring and I was coloring with them just for funsies. So I have all my, my nice candles lit. I put up the vlog already. Podcast went up this afternoon. I sat in my chair with my little rice bag on, which felt so good. It's actually warming in front of the fire right now. I just have it hanging on the little grate. I'm waiting for the new batch of wood to catch. I should probably turn up the air while that happens. And then since I've been sitting down with the kids while they were coloring, I'm gonna work a little bit more on my picture while, uh, I don't know, I drink my tea, I guess. But this is where I'm at right now. So, just, you're gonna have a really chill evening. I don't think there's anything like super stressful that I have to do. Um, and there's some work type things that I could do, but, eh, just gonna crochet and color and, I don't know, I'm sure I'll find something to occupy my time, so. Can I go do that? And then I will let you know what I uh, come up with for the evening. 11.30 and Steve just had to come back by the house. It's kind of chilly out there, by the way. That's because I went out without like a sweater or my coat or anything. It's nice and toasty in here. But Steve had left for work and I look on the counter and he'd left the container with his dinner, his rice and his sausage and a... Uh, I now call it quick cacciatore. So it's like the sausage with tomato stuff. And um, as I call him, I'm like, uh, your dinner's still here. And he'd been gone a few minutes. And he says, what do you mean? I took a container. What did I take? I said, I don't know what you took, but it was not your dinner. So he looks in the seat next to me and goes, I took chocolate covered pretzels. So he came back to get food because those were not going to sustain him through the night. Um, but I'm just glad I noticed before he got too far down the road where he would have been really, really hungry. And, you know, even though he's used to it, it's hard enough to make it through a... Uh, overnight shift. Overnight shift when you're hungry is really, really bad. So he always has popcorn at work and he keeps a popcorn popper there. So like he can have popcorn, but that only gets you so far. And a lot of nights he will have popcorn in addition to dinner, just as like a little pick me up at some point in the night. But anyways, he is silly. They both had the same, they were the same size containers, the same color lid. He just grabbed from the wrong counter, <laughs> but okay. I'm back to my coloring now. Well, I am just cleaning things up and going to bed. I finished the picture I had showed you earlier. I colored two more and I started out another. Yeah, I have a problem. <laughs> but it was just, it was the only thing I really wanted to do tonight, I guess. I was texting back and forth with Steve, who was at work eating his dinner, um, which he thankfully had. And I was commenting that like, um, you know, I told him kind of how many I'd done. He said, well, did you have fun? And I said, well, yeah, though in the middle, not even the middle, like very shortly after I started, I had to start lecturing myself about how like my brain needed to shut up about the fact that I was doing this because what I was going to do. And there were a lot of other mindless activities that I could be doing, but this is the one that I wanted to choose. So it just needed to because Kendra in my head was very chatty tonight and she was not very nice. So she needed to sit down and be quiet so I could color, <laughs> which eventually, um, I don't know, she was quiet enough. So worked on that. And now I'm headed to bed and I will see you all tomorrow. Nighty night.